It has been almost six years since I started game development. Every project I made, except a few experimentation, were made in the Unity game engine. This is where I learned programming by watching videos, tutorials, and looking online every time I had a question. But a year ago, I started my studies of applied mathematics and computer science, and I started asking myself how programs like Unity are made, how computers display objects on the screen, etc. Recently, in the beginning of 2020, I decided to learn a bit more about game engines and rendering techniques. I started by watching a series from The Cherno about coding a game in C++ with OpenGL libraries. Unfortunately, I was a bit overwhelmed by all the math implied, and the videos were a bit technical and very focused on premature optimization, so I decided to stop. Later, on March, the French government announced a lockdown for at least 3 months, so I decided to give another try to OpenGL, but this time in Java, with the LWJGL3 library. I followed the Wormful development series on the topic. In the meantime, I was learning about matrices at school, and how they can be used to project spaces into others. But again, when I started to go a bit outside of the video's content to customize my render engine, I was getting so much errors that I gave up. I simply didn't understand what I was doing. And finally, two weeks ago, near the end of summer holidays, I found a new video series about LWJGL2 by Thane Matrix, which I already followed for his devlogs. At first, it seemed a bit old, but the content of the videos was totally adapted for me. Every video covered a different subject about rendering, without going too much technical in the process. I highly recommend these, at least for the learning of all the process behind rendering, which is a bit confusing, but when correctly understood, highly flexible and powerful. And here I am with my first real homemade project, crafted from scratch. So what's the game about? Well, there's a game that I loved when I was a kid. Cube World. It is a procedurally generated RPG where you can play a dwarf ranger or a human mage or whoever you like and gain XP, loot dungeons and unlock special skills. The universe is all cubic and honestly the potential was huge. But the development was abandoned for about 7 years. However, in September 2019 a Steam version came out, with new quests and stuff. But all of this skill and XP port was gone, and replaced with a region lock look system, which broke the entire game in my opinion. I was in love with that game, so I decided to recycle the global feeling of it, by making an open world sandbox game with a procedurally generated cubic map. A bit of a crossover between Minecraft and Cube World, two of my favorite games. Right now, I don't know exactly what mechanics will be in the game. I primarily focused on the engine for the last two weeks. But I have plenty of ideas, like explorable caves, a lot of minerals with different properties, some sort of crafting, survival, with dynamite cycle, passive and aggressive mobs, all in the good old cube world art style. What about the devlogs? I'll try to post one video every week or so, it depends on what I implemented and the time I have to make the video. I'll also try to make some explanation videos, like how I made the terrain generation, how I handle rendering or collisions, 
are 3D model loading, etc. I'll try to make the videos from 5 to 10 minutes long and to vary the subjects as much as possible. And now, what is actually implemented? I can load any OBJ 3D model with its texture. I have a working but a bit buggy camera, a simple player of movement, an infinite range generator, some shaders that handle lighting and texturing, and last but not least, terrain collisions. What I'd like to add next to the game would be a better terrain generator with a more realistic hills and mountains, terrain manipulations to add and remove blocks, a cave generator with minerals that can be gathered, an inventory system with the crafting, but I'll talk about all of this in the future videos. I'll even make a roadmap soon to organize things a bit. I made this little voxel map in Magica Voxel, which gives a basic idea of what art style I want for the game. That's it for this first devlog! Next week, I'll mainly work on lighting, like directional lights, point lights, etc. So stay tuned! If you like this video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It helps me a lot. Thanks for watching.